Most black holes are born from stars, massive stars. These cosmic giants shine by fusing atoms in their core, creating pressure that pushes outward and balances gravity pulling inward. But when a star burns through its fuel, it loses that internal pressure. Gravity wins, the star collapses. If the star is around 8-10 times more massive than our sun, this collapse becomes unstoppable. The core implodes and the outer layers explode in a supernova, a huge blast of light and matter. What's left behind depends on the core's mass. If it's not too heavy, it becomes a neutron star, a super-dense ball of neutrons. But if the core is over 2.5 solar masses, the tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit, not even neutrons can resist the collapse. The core shrinks endlessly into a single point, a black hole. These are called stellar mass black holes. They might only be 20 or 30 kilometers wide, but they can weigh 5, 10, or even 20 times as much as our sun. They don't shine, but they can tear apart stars, distort space, and release bursts of energy. Stellar black holes are just one kind. Others are far larger, but it all starts with one massive star running out of time. 